Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John, Megacycle here, another episode of Command & Conquer General Zero Hour. Uh, I wanted to show you a really brief tactic that was highlighted to me that I had no idea about. I never, I never tried it, I never figured it out. This is something that I found from someone mentioning, and I wanted to show this one really, really quick. This one is an amazing lightning strike tactic from the United States Air Force General. Now, if you've seen me play the USA Air Force General before, you know I love the Comanche strike. Crank out a helicopter, send it to the other side while you're still producing helis. The enemy is kept on its toes, no problem. This one, this tactic's a little different. Uh, flash fire, real simple map, one of my favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a go and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now this tactic Made requires no aircraft per se. Though I'm the United States Air Force General, what we're gonna be using is the Combat Chinook. Now, if you're familiar with the United States supply chain, they use supply chinooks, or just regular chinooks to ferry supplies from the stash to the supply center. Real simple. Uh, the good thing is the United States Air Force General allows those vehicles, or those aircraft, to have uh, countermeasures on them. And actually, they have countermeasures on them automatically. So one of the awesome things about it is the Combat Chinook allows you to not only put infantry in it, but it comes with fire ports, meaning the infantry can actually projects? shoot out of the facility. Well, some uh, we need four structures only. We need Good the power area. plant, supply center, war factory, right. and barracks. And I'm going to show you exactly how this Needed works. Delivery, General? Uh, the combat Got chinook actually requires right a war factory, which makes absolutely no sense to me, but um, I guess it breaks right up here. the chain a little bit, but I mean, if it's all about aircraft, it should come out Got of the air before, right but eh, I'm not going to cry about it too hard. So what we do is we build a combat chinook. Right uh, it can hold 10 yeah. infantry, so you kind of treat it like the helix Got for China. Right so what, what do we have here? Uh, we have five? I want literally as many as I can, and I want to go Got as quickly as I can, so the second right that's built, we're loading up, we're getting the heck out of Dodge. I'm saving my scan sweep because I want to get a good right view here. when we get there. I notice I'm not doing anything else. I'm not building up more infrastructure. I'm not doing anything else. With, nope, nope, stay here. That's the one weird thing about the Chinooks, is they'll go back to the supply stash, even if you gave them a waypoint. There we go. We got, oh, it's eight, not ten. My fault. Great, so there's that. A little bit of time. Going to get at least one Patriot site up. Oh, sign it for this. Yeah. Before that gets there. Keep it and safe. it's already here. So, out, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Eight missile infantry this yeah, quick in an that. enemy base is absolutely devastating. And, okay, so there's a Patriot site over there. I'm going to save that. Well, I'm going to smash it anyway. This is what I was trying to illustrate before with the uh, the Chinooks. See how the countermeasures are actually shooting away the rockets? Upgrade. This vehicle also has that high level of countermeasures. So actually, let's get to the middle of it. It's it just start shooting rockets. See, look at that. It's not stopping completely, but it's really nullifying a lot of damage. And actually, there was enough splash damage to damage my Chinook here, which can get very scary. Now, one thing I did want to demonstrate when it comes to the rocket infantry, yeah, we're just going to screw up this base so bad. Because of the countermeasures, we can actually hover right next to these Patriot sites. Let's see, I can't repair it because it's Lay technically an aircraft. Made in the Let's which is stupid. Keep it safe. But we're gonna just take this guy out on the town. Right on schedule. Show him your stuff! No, you guys don't get to capture stuff. Eight rocket infantry is absolutely amazing this early quality. in the game. Yeah, you might keep it. You might capture it, but you're not gonna keep it. Just I'm like that. Go. Now, the neat thing about it is with the Patriot sites, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by it. We're just going to hover real nice and close to it, and we'll be able to nullify every single missile. Look at that. No problem. Single Patriot sites are not an issue. Same thing with small pockets of missile infantry. You can easily nullify one or two of them, which really makes this a hard-hitting option early on. Yeah, we, we've already got this beat. I don't even need to build a strategy center. Yeah. We're going to, though. Like, we're going to keep going Good as if in. we're going to lose. It's always my theory. Just keep playing as if you're going to lose. There's that. There's that. Go right for the command center. Call it a day. Now, this might have been a little sloppy, but I think you really get the idea. You can bring a lot of heavy, expensive vehicles into the battlefield very quickly as the United States Air Force General. That's what I love about them. Lay in the foundation. 
keep him busy. You might really be stuck to planes considering he can't build tanks. There's a lot of things he can't produce. But when it really Let's comes build. to the versatility oh, sure. of aircraft, it's amazing. Our base is under attack. Base is under attack? Really? Got a little sloppy on my part. Go run his butt off. Load up some soldiers. Yeah, you just stand right there. New construction. <laughs> did I actually get him? Yes, I did. Getting to work. Upgrade complete. Keep, keep it safe. All right, now this gets a little annoying with the Chinook, so let's just do a little more damage to the rest of the base. Protect the supplies. Yeah, that's a lot of real heavy damage. Now the interesting thing is, as you're doing this sort of a tactic, the United States is pretty much useless considering all they have are rockets. Uh, China and GLA have the quad cannon and the Gatling tank, respectively. Um, so that's really something that can help consider. You can't dodge Gatling. General, our base is under attack. You can't dodge bullets, really. What's our base under attack? Comanche here. Visibility clear. Let's build. Yeah, we're just gonna keep building as if as if that attack could die any second. We're just gonna keep going on and building up stuff. All right. Well, now they have their supply depot. Now those Chinooks are over there. We're gonna mess with the command center and call this a day. Now, if you're really concentrating and really wanting to hammer this out, you can knock out these matches in minutes, like two minutes, three minutes. It goes very quickly. I've been a little sloppy and I've been a little less picky on my targets because I wanted to show you how effective it is against the, uh, the Patriot sites. Um, this is absolutely great, especially against the Super Weapon General who relies heavily on her EMP Patriots for defense. Uh, definitely can be awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to finish this guy up, call this tactic a done deal. And then I'll be more than happy to show you the Comanche tactic. I know I've, I've shown it a dozen times, but it's certainly one of my favorites. Yeah, anyone who's familiar with bringing rockets to United States Air Force Supply Center, it's an absolute pain to try to knock all that crap out. Distribution underway. Comanche here. All right, let's get our Comanche moving. Loaded with U.S. quality. Congratulations, right General. And victorious. there's the sellout. You are victorious. Not too bad. It gets a lot of firepower very quick. Now, the only thing, like I said before, is you can't counter bullets. Like, there's no force fields in this game, so you got to be super careful. If the AI can get three or four Gatling tanks quickly or quad cannons quickly, that can easily nullify this attack. But the idea is you're bringing a lot of heavy, heavy, uh, heavy, Excuse me. You're bringing a lot of heavy firepower very quickly. That's what gives you the upper hand. Okay, so we'll do the same tactic again, but this time we're just going to use Comanches. So, fairly similar. I've done this one before, but I like doing it, so I don't mind showing you guys again. Have a job for me. On the job. There we go. We're just going to get to the airport as quickly as we can. Let's get to work. In. Uh, and then when we start Make cranking out Comanches, road. we're just going to send them. The second one comes off the line, send it immediately. You got, you're going to have to do a little micromanagement here, because you're going to have one in the field, and then one on projects. the way, you know, that good sort of area. thing. But it's, it's a good tactic. I'm not have even going to upgrade my power plant. I want to maximize my capability for expansion, so let's see. We're going airfield immediately, then strategy center, because that's going to give us our carpet bomb. The so there's that. Let's see, we have... Airport Lay takes one, foundation. strategy center takes two, so we can do with one power plant for quite a while. Need a delivery, General? Now, I like this tactic better because even if the map is a little larger, you can still get your forces to the other side quickly. You just can't do that with China. They don't have a ton of fast-moving stuff if you want to get a lot of land hardware somewhere else, but the United States makes that really nice. Uh, GLA, you can do it with technicals if you can get out your war factory All fast enough, finished. or your arms dealer. I'm uh, just going to queue up two there, ready. strategy center as well. I'm building my stuff kind of tight, and that's usually a bad policy, especially when you have super weapons and such, but the way I really see it is I'm really going for the quick strike, so I don't want to defend a huge base. I want to defend as little as possible, and this works out real nice for that. Yes, sir. Go. Hot, hot number them and just go. Comanche here. Now, if I know the AI, and I like to think I do, they'll usually send out some infantry to take over these oil derricks. So all we're going to do is we're going to save us uh, ourselves a lot of headache. Minor detour, just kill them. Upgrade complete. 
frequencies open. Lie I don't low. have a ton of time to work over the oil derricks and destroy them because I don't I don't want them. In the field. Now, the trick to open. this is we're just concentrating on the dozers. Once we concentrate on the dozers, we Lie halt the low. production immediately. Air covers on the way. Now, production covered. facilities. In. And this is how you do it. You just have full control. Now we have our strategy center up. Search and destroy. Search and Supply destroy. lines. Intelligence. In the field. Concentrate underway. on dozers. That's all we need to do. Comanche here. Yes, sir. Concentrate on the dozers. They can't build. Down. They can't expand. When we're done wrecking those guys, we move on to something else. There we clear. go. Carpet bomb almost wiped out the war factory. Frequencies open. Very good. Making a sweep. Just keep keep churning out these guys. Now, when you've got a few out, definitely go for the uh, rocket pack, the rocket pod upgrade. Absolutely worth it. Can't stress that enough. That gives you a lot of extra firepower without having to spend a ton of cash. I believe it's only eight hundred dollars. So actually, after that, we're going to go rocket pods. Keep coming. We're going in. Again, this gives a lot of heavy firepower, a lot of ordnance, very quickly. We we didn't even move an inch on the map land-wise. And we haven't even defended ourselves. Um, I don't believe I have any Patriot sites. I don't have anything set up. Nothing's at home. So unless they're striking us just as quickly, we've really got this in the bag. What's the story? Speaking of which, we are going to go ahead and start to defend ourselves a And we're going to keep playing as if, we're, as if we lost. That's, that's always my theory. Is keep playing as if you lost. Even if you've got the winning hand, you don't know what the enemy's got sitting. Especially GLA, like Stealth General style. You don't know if they've got a cache of weapons just sitting around. You have no idea what's going on. So there's that. There's that. Everyone move over a little bit. Let's rock and pod the joint. Yes, sir. Freaking corner measures, I swear. Any more projects? In the field. Congratulations, yes, General. You have been promoted. Now, I'm very sure they've expanded a little bit, that and they have. Coming. There we go. Sold out. Frequencies open. That, that you are that. victorious. Not too bad. So these are two really great tra uh, strategies from the Air Force General to move in really fast. One of the big penalties with being the Air Force General is a lot of their stuff is very expensive. You can't crank out a tank for 800. The lowest thing you can do is Raptors, and those things can get very expensive very quick. But if you use that ordinance properly, real hit run kind of tactics, once you punch a hole, keep punching, the Air Force General can totally be one of the worst nightmares you've ever had. Um, right there with the Super Weapon General as well, and every general has their own play and feel. This one just happens to be my favorite. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, no units lost, no structures lost. This is a perfect all the way around and excellent cutthroat tactic. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.